Welcome back to the studio. Our next shot on the agenda is a punch shot. So we've just done the draw and fade, which I've got in the link below. So if you haven't checked that video out, click on that link and check it out. So our next one is a punch shot. So we're trying to keep that ball low. So like wind against, overhanging branches. So you're trying to keep it nice and low, pierce through that wind, avoid those branches, hit that fairway running so it roll up to the green and you're back in play. Right, so as I said on the previous videos, it's all about the setup. So you change the setup, that will achieve the shot. Ball position, you're trying to keep that club nice and low so the ball position moves back. So I've got a six iron here, so the ball position between the middle of your stance and your right foot. In that middle section there, between the middle of your stance and your right foot. And stay in line with the inside of your left thigh. Grip down it slightly, a bit more feel and control. We're not looking at distance, we're trying to punch it down there got control, we're trying to get back in the game in, in the scenario that we're in. Spine angle tilt, slight spine angle tilt to the left, 60-40. Slight head tilt in sync with the spine angle, that encourages you to hit down that shot. Maintain that position, you'll achieve that shot. So it's not too complicated, ball, hands, weight, head, tilt. Maintain, hit down, boom, there's your punch. Let's have a go. So we've got overhanging branch in the way, trying to run it down to that green get our set up, maintain that position and execute that shot. Just snuck onto that branch. So it's a great shot to have in that bag. Just got to maintain that position. Any questions or comments, send them through. Have a go at that, have a go down that range. See how low you can keep it. Try it with all various different clubs. It's a great shot to call upon, like I said, overhanging branches in the wind, get that position, ball, hands, weight, head, maintain, bang. Any questions or comments, send them through, give the video a good thumbs up, make sure you press that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you on our next one.